Hello, welcome, part three of my GitHub for Poets tutorial series. And in this video, this is, if anything, this might be the most important one for you to watch, or the most exciting, or perhaps, hopefully, maybe, if I can make it so, the most interesting one to watch. So what I have here is a poem. It is on, it is in a GitHub repository. I created an account called Rainbow Coder. And what I'm going to show you in this video is how you, as someone who is not me, could contribute to my repository. Now this usually happens in the case of source code because you want to fix a bug or suggest a change, but we're going to sort of not look at source code to make things a little simpler. So you might think of another line you want to add to this poem, that sort of thing. So how do you do that? So there's two concepts first that I want to add to our list of Git concepts before I start typing stuff in here in the browser. I'm going to come over here. These are all the concepts I've covered so far in the previous two videos, and I'm going to add two things to our list here. I'm going to add fork, <laughs> and I'm going to add pull request. So these are the two new concepts that I'm covering in this video. Now, what does it mean to fork a repository? So let's say this little circle here with the word repo in it represents a particular repository. And you've been making changes along that repository. I had a diagram like this, a bunch of different commits. And then also perhaps you had some branches where you tried some other things out and you merged those branches in, that sort of thing. This repository is, is sitting on GitHub in my account, Rainbow Coder. What if you love this repository so much, you want to take an entire duplicate instance of it and have it live in your account so you could work on it separately with the same stuff, but not be mucking around with my, not have to have privileges or permissions to make changes here, but also not by accident mess something up if you weren't sure about what you were doing just yet. This is what it means to fork a repository. Forking repositories is essentially like I, don't, I was almost going to use the word clone, but I don't want to use the word clone because that's a specific GitHub term that I'm going to add to this list for later. But it's like taking an entire other instance of the repo and just having it under your account. So I have another GitHub account, which is my main one called Shiftman. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend to be both Rainbow Coder and Shiftman. I guess I don't have to pretend to be Shiftman because that's who I am. Maybe, uh, anyway, um, this is all getting a little strange. But so I'm going to fork it and then I will have in my account, my GitHub account, an exact replica, I, I didn't get this right, of this entire repository and its whole history. So that if I decide to do some stuff, I can make as many branches and do various things as I, as I want without affecting the original core version. That's forking. Now, that's what it means to fork. Now, what does pull request mean? Pull request means, let's say, this particular branch that I've been working on, I just love it. I have come up with the most elegant, poignant, meaningful set of verse ever. <laughs> and I want to contribute it back to the original repository. That would be a pull request. Now, what am I doing? I'm essentially sending this code to this repository as a pull request. And it's up, for ra it's up to Rainbow Coder to accept or reject that pull request. The reason why it's called a pull request in GitHub, this is it's so strange, but let's say if I, if I want to send something this direction, that's going to be a push. If I want to get something the other direction, pull, that's going to be a pull. So sending out is pushing, uh, coming in is pulling. So really, I as Shiftman want to push my stuff over here, but I can't because I don't have permission here. So I'm saying, would you please, Rainbow Coder, pull my changes? That's a pull request. Okay, so these are the concepts. Let's go and actually do it here. And if you are watching this live or if you're watching the archived version of this video, please make a pull request. We're going to invent the world's greatest collaborative poem about rainbows. And since today is Earth Day, I don't know what it'll be when you're watching this, maybe add some stuff about the Earth in there too. Okay, back over here. Now, here it is. So I am logged in here as Rainbow Coder. And what I've done already in a separate browser in a, in, in a separate browser window is I am at this exact URL of this particular repository, but I am logged in as Shiftman. And you can see here my like little smiling icon is up there. And, but, and I am looking at the Rainbow Coder ra reposit Rainbow Coder's account and the Rainbow Poem repository. So the truth of the matter is 
All of this stuff, I could fork and then make a pull request and do all of that. There's actually a really quick and simple way to do this because GitHub will kind of take care of everything for you. And I'm going to show you that first. Because you could say, we could go to the poem and you could see, like, look, there's the edit button. And look what it says. Fork this project and edit the file. So GitHub already knows that you don't have permission to edit the file directly. So it assumes if you're trying to edit it that you're going to that you want to fork the entire project. So if I actually just click edit, it's going to automatically create that fork for me. Another way I could create the fork is to click this button up here. Oh, you can't really see that. This button up here in the top right corner, fork. So I don't know which one I want to do right now. Flip a coin, spin a wheel. Let's start with the let's do let's fork it. Let's do the fork. Come on, let's be, let's be bold today. Okay, so I'm gonna click this fork button right now. Here it goes. Oh, whoa, oh, look at this. So one thing you'll notice, by the way, that I, as a GitHub user, belong to a bunch of different organizations and that organizations have different accounts. Interesting to note this. You probably, you, if you just signed up, probably won't have this happen to you, but I'm gonna fork it to my Shiftman account. You can see it's forking it. It should only take a few seconds. Come on, GitHub, do the fork dance. Okay, it finished, I don't have to dance anymore. <laughs> um, so now you can see, look at this. I now have an entire duplicate version of this repository in under my account and it even says where I forked it from. This all makes sense, right? So now what I wanna do is go back to Poem and you can see I'm working in it and I can just hit edit now. So I can edit this and let's um, earth, by the way, Everybody, when you're doing your forks and pull requests, please correct, <laughs> get rid of my original poem. Nothing about it was any good. Um, Earth Day is a day. Oh, wait, okay, uh, let's just say, um, uh, 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 um, I don't know, recycle. <laughs> <laughs> Recycle is a good, okay. So I just decided, I, I panicked. I don't know what to put about Earth Day. But so I'm adding a line, recycle, and then I'm going to now go down here and look at this. So, I can commit directly to the master branch. Now, note, because I'm working in a fork, I am committing to this master branch in my forked version of the repo, not the Rainbow Coder one. Um, but sometimes it's kind of good practice if I'm ultimately going to propose a change to somebody else with a pull request to maybe create a new branch. So let's do that, and let's call this branch Shiftman Recycle. And I'm going to say adding recycle. Recycle. <laughs> so, you know, you should, this is, I'm doing a terrible disservice to the world by not, by not putting in excellent, thoughtful uh, commit comments, but you should, you should be let more thoughtful about that. And then I'm just going to do propose file change. Uh, now, interestingly enough, oh, whoa, the ch this is so, um, <sighs> I did this in an overly complicated way by making the separate branch, but it's fine because what I'm doing here is, um, what it wants me to do is automatically, I gotta restart this video, it's fine, let's keep going. This is so crazy, but it's fine. This is, this is normal and this, we, should, we should run into these types of things and, and figure them out. So because I created a separate branch, it, GitHub is sort of automatically detecting that maybe I wanna propose to merge it back in here. And, you know, and then from there I might do a pull request. Let's actually, um, let me go backwards and I'm not going to do this extra step of the extra branch. I'm just going to edit master directly and then do a pull request from there, which might be a little bit simpler. And somebody on the internet is probably going to yell at me that I'm doing things incorrectly, but, and then I'll make another video to correct that. Okay, so, um, so, uh, so actually, no, but what I'm actually going to do, uh, even though I said something different, is click merge pull request and confirm merge. And so now you can see now, that now you can see my particular, oops, uh, my particular version of the repository, ah, <laughs> I was doing so well, uh, now has the recycle in it. So what I just did there was this extra step of making that extra branch was rather unnecessary because I could have just edited master directly because I'm only working within my version of the repository. Let me get to the important point now. Hopefully I didn't waste too much of your time. What happens now if I, go to here. Now look at this. I, there is an option right here now in my, I'm in shiftman slash rainbow poem. I can say new pull request. And what that's going to do is say to the, the when I click new pull request, it's going to tell the, the original repository, rainbow coder, that I have now a pull request. 
So I can, I'm going to create a pull request with this commit, adding recycle. I'm going to create that pull request. I'm going to say, hey, I added recycle. Uh, please, uh, um, this, I, am, I am really thinking about the earth and how much, <laughs> and how much I love rainbows today. Okay, so I'm going to create this pull request. And now, uh, I, there's nothing left for me to do. I just sit and wait. I wait with bated breath and anticipation, hoping that my pull request gets accepted. And yet, even if your pull request does not get accepted, you have done a good thing on the internet today by learning about and submitting a pull request. Not all pull requests get accepted, but, they sh but, but just the act of doing one is a positive thing to do in, in the world. Anyway, so now I can go to the window. I can go back now as the rainbow coder. I can go back to this original repository and I can click, I can select now. Now, this is if somebody, now pretend you're the, the someone gives you a pull request. I can go here to pull requests and I can see that somebody actually um, added another pull request here already. I'm going to merge that one in perhaps a little bit later. I'm going to look at this one. I can see like, aha, um, what was changed? This, I can, uh, this is the thing that was changed. I can look at it and say, Blue, green, indigo, recycle, unicorn, yellow. You know, maybe I would have put recycle after unicorn, but pretty good. So I'm going to, uh, because this video now has probably gotten way too long, uh, I'm going to go back to here. And I'm, first I'm going to write, thank you so much. I love this change. And I'm going to, and I'm going to hit submit. And then I'm going to write here, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do merge pull request. And we have now started, even though it's just me doing the pull request, the first the world's first, this might not be true, but the world's first collaborative GitHub poem about rainbows on Poem in Your Pocket Day or the day after Poem in Your Pocket Day. Uh, okay, so that was, this is my, this is the end of part three. I encourage you to go online, try to make, make a pull request to my repository. A link to the repository will be in the video's description. Uh, you find another repository. If you, if you know about code, fix somebody's bug in somebody else's repository, add something, go and make a pull request on the internet on GitHub today and see how that goes. And in part four, I'm going to do something more with Git and GitHub. Look for part four. I forgot what it is, but I'll, I'm going to keep going with this stuff. Okay, see you soon. Goodbye.